you did some of the most difficult interviews ever. Do you have advice that you can give to someone like me or anyone hoping to understand something about a human being uh, sitting across from them about what it takes to do a good interview? You're doing one. <laughs> well, no, but there's a, listen, there's a levels to this game. And interviewing somebody like Vladimir Putin, also language barrier, sit across from the man, try to keep an open mind, try to also ask challenging questions, but not challenging with, the, with an agenda, but seeking to understand and understand deeply. How do you do that? Seeking the truth. It's very simple. Seeking the truth, being a questioner like you are, you want to know what is really going on. I could not get anywhere with uh, Biden or Bush or, for that matter, Obama. They'd be opaque with me. There's no interview possible with the president of the United States because he's got to stand for all the stuff that they stand for, which is imperialism, which is control of the world. How can you defend that? You can't. No one's going to come out and say that. They're always going to blame the enemy. They're going to blame Iran. They're going to blame China. So oh with some God. people, it may not be possible to break through the opaqueness. You can't. You can't. I mean, have you ever seen an interview with a president besides being personable, where he actually discussed American policy? Yeah, well, I mean, not really, but maybe after their president. I could see Obama be being able to do such an interview. I could see George W. being able to do such an interview. Or are they not able to reflect at all? On well, the George W. hasn't shown much conscience in terms of thinking about what he's done. You've seen that. It was. You ever see my movie W? Mm -hmm. I think that's one of my best movies because it shows a man who's just out of his depth and has no. He has a conscience at the end of the movie. If he, if you remember correctly, he talks to his wife and he says, "I don't get it. I'm trying to do good in the world. I've done. I believe in good and right. And why do people not understand that? You know that kind of complaint." as if he can't get outside himself to understand the way other people think. Empathy, walking like a dramatist is what I do. You walk in the foot, footsteps of other people. And when I did a movie about Richard Nixon, it wasn't because I liked him. It was because I wanted to, I think I understood a part of him because of my father, and I think I wanted to walk in his footsteps. That's not to say I sympathize with him because I didn't. I don't think he helped the American cause at all but it was empathize as opposed to sympathize. Same thing with Bush. People were shocked when I did the Bush movie. They said, how can you be in any way, uh, any way receptive to this guy? I said, that's wrong. Dramatists don't have political positions. They walk in the shoes of. That's why Bush movie perhaps was surprising to many, and many people didn't care for it. Maybe that's what, but that's, you've got to go there. No, you, if you did a movie about a villain, you have to go there. You have to walk in their shoes. Yes. So see them, because they usually, villains usually see themselves as the hero. Yes. So you have to consider what is it like to live in a world where this person is the hero? Yes. Is well, that a burden? Is that hard? Not for George W. Bush. He's bitching because they didn't understand him. But he had a good vision, he said, of democracy. And, you know, democracy forgives a lot of sins.